it occurred to me, as it often does, and then I forget about it, <laughs> and perhaps even behave uh, contrary to this inspiration. But it occurred to me that, not just as a Buddhist, but as, as just a human being on trying to live my own unique spiritual path and life, that there are so many different things that we can practice, so many advanced techniques or whatever that we can learn, that we can engage with, so many different inspirations, but probably the cornerstone, the, the heart essence of all of that, and perhaps the most important of them all, is just simply practicing kindness, friendship with the universe, with the world, and an unconditional kindness. And when I act and behave unkind, when I act and behave in, in any kind of negative or imbalanced way, which is often, um, that's the thing to return to for me. And that's why I love this mantra that I want to share with you, is because this is the friendship mantra. This is the unconditional friendship mantra of all beings, all, all things, the universe, the one verse of love. And it's an unconditional one. So that's, that's for me, the most important practice of them all. And that's why I wanted to make this the mantra that I started this little mini series with. Is for exactly that. This is um, taken from the sun fruit mantras, which there are obviously yogic move, movements to accompany them. But this, this mantra um, is celebrating being the friend of all. And in, in the context um, regarding the sun, you know, the, a, a non-discriminatory kindness, an unconditional and non-discriminatory discriminatory kindness. You know, the sun shines for everyone. It doesn't shine only for some people. The sun is here and it's it's that attitude, it's that bedrock um, to be cultivated within us that I find so beautiful. And this mantra in, encapsulates that harmonically, in its resonance, in its energy, in its soul, in its heart. Uh, that is that is the core of what this mantra is about. And that's why I wanted to share it. So there you go. That's my thoughts on, on, on why I love this mantra. And, <clears throat> you know, practicing it is just so beneficial because especially if you're like me where we might know this and feel it instinctively, but it's another thing to actually do it, isn't it? It's another thing to actually put it into practice, especially when times are difficult or, you know, you find yourself falling into those patterns where you're not doing it, where you're not embracing and embodying that quality that you know to be true. And that is why I love mantra so much is because it draws the attention. The more you do it, the more it draws the focus and the attention into that quality and not just as some abstraction, but as something that you actually manifest, that you embody, that you become, that you integrate. I think it's perhaps even a better word, something to be integrated, not just to be celebrated or spoken, something to actually be lived and felt, perceived and then acted upon in, in turn in a nice reverential loop of oneness. So without further ado, Let's do the mantra. So the mantra. Om. Mitraya. Put it together. Mitraya. Namaha. Om. Mitraya. Namaha. Om. Mitraya. Namaha. Om. Mitraya. Namaha Om Mitraya Namaha Om Mitraya Namaha So seeing the sun, feeling the sun within you, within the heart jewel, within your 
uh, very essence, embodying the qualities of warmth, light, sustenance, life itself. These are the feelings that I find when I practice the mantra. And see for yourself, you know, don't take my word for it. Try out the sounds, feel into the sounds. And the most important thing is to listen into the feeling. As you don't just repeat sounds and think about it. Feel into it as you make the sounds. Listening with the mind, with the heart, with the inner ear. Listening with all of your being, all of your cells, all of your atoms. And know there to be no sense of separation. You know, this universal friendship, like we said, is non-discriminatory. It's, it's um, everything being connected and interdependent, interwoven, intermingling, connected. That is the oneness. That is the friend of all. You are. You can be the friend of all. Or at the very least, it's something to aspire to, isn't it? Because being practical, you know, we're not perfect <clears throat> in, in that sense. You know, we're not likely to at every moment be the friend of all things. But it's something to work towards and it's something to practice and integrate. The more you do it, the better at it we get. The more time you can spend in that space. And that's the point of repeating the mantra is to entrain and help create those pathways but the heart pathways as well as the neural pathways to create that systematic connection that you can then uh, improve upon work upon and just keep integrating especially if we if we enter into like i've done recently when i've been practicing this there have been many moments where i've messed up and i really have not been the friend of all so try this mantra as you're going about your daily business Speak it, sing it, think it, send it, feel it, and feel the return of that when you talk to a flower, when you talk to a dog, a bird, the sky, the elements, the earth beneath your feet and all the creatures, the universe, all beings, all realities, all times, feeling that sense and cultivating, you know, what a wonderful thing to, to, to imagine and to work with. You know, especially if you don't feel that, especially if you feel disconnected from that, then this is how this this kind of practice, this kind of thing helps us to reintegrate that. And remember, at your very core, you are that already. So then it makes the work of reconnecting with that just that little bit easier and quicker, the more that we focus and think on that. So these are the kinds of things to do. You know, mantra is supposed to be in my humble opinion, integrated into everything we do. You know, and not just when we're saying a, a Sanskrit or a mantra in some language. It's in the language of your emotions, of your of your perceptions, of your judgments, of your feelings, of your associations, of your actions. And that's why through repetition, like we've already said, through the repetition of these things, that's how we build this kind of greater sense of momentum and be okay with with the times and the moments where perhaps you feel that you've lost that or feel a disconnect from that momentum you know we can't constantly spin round the merry-go-round all the time we have to get off well i do anyway because i feel sick after a little while it's okay to get off the merry-go-round in fact in some ways you know i, I would say Again, that that's a fairly essential component to like working with these things and, and then integrating the understanding. Sometimes we need to take a break. So, you know, and that's part of the kindness, right? That's part of the, the universal friendship, because, of course, that includes yourself. We, we shouldn't go around being the un universal friend of all and then forgetting ourselves because all are included unconditionally. No discrimination. So again, yeah. So do it when you're doing the dishes. Om Mitraya Namaha. Feel and listen into the sounds with your heart. Om Mitraya Namaha. Om Mitraya Namaha. And what I've found, which you may experience, you might have your own kind of 
feelings on it. But I do it when I'm walking to work. And it just, when the, the few times where I actually remember to do this, what you might start to feel is, is that sense of friendship and connection where it just, especially at the, if you do this at the beginning of your day, helps just set the day, like a good hearty breakfast, sets the day up for just that dose of friendship, that extra bit of patience, that extra bit of kindness that you're giving yourself, but and others as well. And that's just such a wonderful way to start the day. So take all of these things that we've thought and talked about, and then now I'm gonna end the video with a, a, an, an audio recording of me doing the mantra. So if you want to, if you like to, if it feels nice, practice along, sing along, speak it along, feel and think it along. Remember the three things are pretty much basically the same. Yeah, of course it's good to make the sounds. You know, perhaps sing them or say them out loud, but even you can do this just in your mind. And know that when you're doing it in your mind, you're speaking that language, your heart is reverberating that language, is radiating that language also. All aspects, all those cells, all of the atoms, the friendship of all.